Adam alayhi salatu wasalam said, when I raised my head in Jannah, and I looked at the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the arsh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I saw the name of Allah and I saw the name of Muhammad written together. He said, I knew that the greatest of Allah's creation has to be Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the reason why the greatest of Allah's creation has to be Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is why would Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala place the name of Muhammad next to his name on his arsh, on his throne. So Adam alayhi salatu wa said that in Jannah, when I saw that on every gate of Jannah was written La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. And then I looked at the throne of Allah, the arsh of Allah, and I saw the name of Allah, and I saw the name of Muhammad sallallahu written side by side. I immediately gathered that the greatest and best of Allah's creation has to be Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Adam alayhi salatu wa sallam. I was reading in my house. سوات والے گھر سے تسلسل سے رونے کی آواز بچے کی آ رہی تھی بچہ بھوک اور اندھیرے سے روتا حضرت باجدید درس گئے بازار گئے سارا سامان خریدا لا کے اس مجوسی عورت کو دیا کہا میں بھی خیال رکھوں گا اگر تجھے ضرور ہو تو بھی پیغام بھیج دینا اب خبر گیری کرتے رہے جیسے اس کا خامند آیا نا اس کو بھی پتا تھا میں لیٹ ہوں اس نے آتے پہلا سوال یہ کیا وہ پیچھے سے پریشانی تو نہیں ہوئی اس نے کہا بس ایک ہی رات ہوئی پھر نہیں ہوئی اس نے ساری بات سنا دی اب وہ کہتا ہے میں بھی بعد میں بیٹھوں گا پہلے میں حضرت بازید کا شکریہ ادا کر کے حضرت کا شکریہ ادا کرنے ہے آپ نے فرمایا شکریہ چھوڑ تو یہ بتا وہ جو بچہ ساری رات بھوک اور اندھیرے سے روتا رہا تو نے اس پہ مجھے معاف کر دیے ساری رات ایک چھوٹا بچہ بھوک اور اندھیرے سے روتا رہا اور بازید نفل پڑتا رہا میں کل جا کے اللہ اور اللہ کے رسول کو کیا منہ دکھاؤں گا بتا مجھے معاف کیا کہ نہیں کیا وہ رو پڑا اور وہ آگے سے کرتا حضور آپ بھی معافی کو چھوڑیں کلمہ پڑھا کے مجھے بھی اتنے سونے دین میں داخل کر لیں حضرت اپنے گھر میں والعصر ان الانسان لفی خسر الا الذین آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر والعصر إن Do you know about this tile? Shortly after the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam passed away, there was a severe drought and famine in Madinah al Munawwara. The people of the city came to our mother Sayyida Aisha radiallahu anha, seeking her advice and help. So she instructed them to make an opening above the grave of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, such that there was no barrier between him and the sky. As soon as they did this. It immediately began to rain until the plants grew, the animals became extremely healthy and the city rejoiced. The Ottomans later placed a specific tile on the green dome to commemorate this event. Do you know about this tile? Muslim and Mumin, when someone is a man, he 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 is a man, اس کا مطلب یہ ہے کہ جو فوت ہونے والا ہے صرف وہی اللہ کی ملکیت اور اللہ کی طرف نہیں گیا بلکہ ان اللہ بحثیت مومن ہم یہ اقرار کرتے ہیں کہ ہم بھی اللہ کے لیے ہیں وہ ان علیہ راج اور ایک نہ ایک دن ہم نے بھی اللہ کی طرف لوٹ کے جانا ہے جب ہمارا ایمان یہ ہے تو پھر ہم نے اپنی زبان سے پھر گلا اور شکوا اس موقع کے اوپر نہیں کرنا چاہیے جو بعض اوقات کفر یا کلمات تک بھی لے کے چلا جاتا ہے اور کچھ حضرات ایسے موقع کے اوپر کفر یا کلمات بھی اپنی زبان سے کہہ دیتے ہیں تیری جگہ میں چلا جاتا تو پہلے کیوں چلا گیا ہمارے ساتھ ظلم ہو گیا اس طرح کے کلمات اللہ تبارک و تعالی کی شان کے خلاف ہیں مسلمان اور The blessed hands of Rasulullah, the hands of Rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam were even softer than silk as well. If anyone performed musafaha, if they shook hands with Rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam, then the fragrance that would come from the hand of Rasulullah would never leave the hand of that companion as well. This is the barakah of just the hand of Rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam is performing salatul kusuf, the eclipse prayer. 
as the messenger is praying, you say that your hand is like the hand of Rasulullah. The messenger of Allah is offering the salah, reaches his hand out. The companion say, Oh messenger, as you were reading, you lifted your hand. The Prophet ﷺ says, I was on this dunya, but I lifted my hand into Jannah. I was about to take the fruits from that tree, but I never took it. If I had gifted you that fruit, you would have never gone hungry again in your life. The blessed hands of Rasulullah. ألم نشرح لك صدرك ووضعنا عنك وزرك الذي أنقض ظهرك ورفعنا لك ذكرك فإن مع العسر يسرا إن مع العسر يسرا فإذا فرغت فانصب وإلى ربك فارغب ألم نشرح لك صدرك Anyone Regardless of where you stand in the social hierarchy, if you invited Rasulullah to your house, the Messenger will surely turn up to your house and he will respond to your invitation. If you contrast that with how we are today, that the moment someone climbs the ladder of fame and influence, the first thing that you want to do is that you want to distance yourself from those who are below you in the social hierarchy. Many people think of it to be an insult if you attend the home and you respond to the invitation of someone who is poor, someone who is not on the same level um, as you in the social hierarchy. But from the sunnah and from the tradition of Rasulullah was that whether a free person invited him, whether a slave invited him, whether a slave woman invited him to his house or to their house, the Messenger والسلام, would always respond to the invitation of anyone who invited him. This is from the prophetic tradition. Anyone, regardless of where the Messenger والسلام, he made dua to Allah, and the words of his dua were, Rabbi ghfir li qawmi. O Allah, forgive my nation. The Messenger said that I do not want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to destroy the people of Ta'if. Because although the people of Ta'if may have rejected me, maybe someone from their progeny, someone from their lineage will believe in Allah and will negate shirk. This was the foresight of Rasulullah. The very first person to take the flag of Islam and lay the seed of Islam in the subcontinent was a man by the name of Muhammad bin Qasim. And Muhammad bin Qasim was from the tribe of Banu Thaqifa and his forefathers were from Taif. So we see the hikmah, the wisdom and the foresight in the dua of the messenger and a manifestation of the statement that maybe someone from the progeny, someone from the lineage will accept Islam. The manifestation of this was Muhammad bin Qasim. The Messenger والسلام, he made... You know Sudais, the Imam of Mecca, <clears throat> recently he gave comments praising America and praising Donald Trump. So many Salafis said that from henceforth they will not pray Salah behind Sudais. Why do they not pray behind the Sudais? Because they have issues with what? With his political stance on America. So they justify that. If an Imam of the Haram validates Israel tomorrow, would you pray Salah behind him? You would not. So similarly for us, when they say statements like the Prophet ﷺ is dead in his grave and he doesn't benefit you, we do not pray behind them. Do you know Sudais? You would be taken back by the awe of the Messenger of Allah. The Haybah, the Jalal, the majesty, the beauty, the gravitas of our Nabi Wasallam. His Jamal was such, his Kamal was such, his Jalal was such, that if somebody had never seen him Wasallam, upon seeing him suddenly, that person would be struck by the awe of the presence of the Prophet So the more the Sahaba got closer to him, the more they got close to him, the more they fell in love with him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Today, the more we get closer to learning his seerah, learning about his miracles, mu'jizat, kamalat, fada'il, khasail, chama'il, khasais, manaqib, virtues, ranks, miracles, unique stations, maqamat, 
and his unique qualities, mannerisms, characteristics, beauty, seerah. The more we acquire this, the more we get closer to this, the more we will fall in love with him. You would be taken back. The Prophet wasallam, he was with a group of companions. The Prophet wasallam, he asks the companions, he says, imagine the man who has a river at his doorstep. This man bathes in that river five times every single day. Do you think that you'd be able to see any traces of dirt on this man? The companions said, no, Ya Rasulullah, of course not. لا يبكي من درنه شيئاً not a trace of dirt would be left on such an individual. The Prophet ﷺ replied, he said, this is the example of a man who prays five times a day, by which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives and nullifies his sins. So this is another reason, if you can't stop sinning, inna salata tanha anil fahshai wal munkar. Start praying, and through this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help you to stop from sinning and evil and immorality. The Prophet Those who blindly follow Saudi Arabia, they will answer to Allah on the day of Qiyamah. If they have made a day less, this is a question that Allah will ask them and they will have to give an answer for this. And I urge whichever maslak in this country, please stop blindly following Saudi Arabia and causing division within the Muslim community in the United Kingdom. All of the Muslims in the United Kingdom should be united on one formula, our local moon sighting or the nearest Muslim country. And we should all have Eid on one day in this country. If you follow Saudi Arabia for the moon, why don't you read Juma when Saudi Arabia do Juma? Why don't you open your fast when Saudi Arabia open their fast? Why don't you read your Fajr when Saudi Arabia read their Fajr? Why is it only you pick and choose Saudi Arabia when it comes to moon sighting? And this problem for the last 30, 40, 50 years in this country, where we've had split Eids, is simply because we have some Muslims in this country who prefer to follow Saudi Arabia rather than follow the local moon sighting. For this reason, my brothers, we must stop following Saudi Arabia in these matters. They are not the religious authority over me and you. Those who Sharif, like Nawaz Sharif, as a father, we know that our son doesn't have a job. 
पर ही ड्राइव द लेटेस्ट खा हैज द लेटेस्ट फोन हैज द लेटेस्ट डिजाइनर क्लोथिंग उस बाप ना काम नहीं बनना उस पियो ना काम नहीं बनना दैट ही आस्क हिज सन द पुत्र वेयर डिड यू गेट द मनी फ्रॉम वेयर हैज दिस खा कम फ्रॉम लेकिन नहीं हर बंदा चुप हर बंदा अपनी मौज और मस्ती विच अजीब गल है I don't want to be treading on Imam Sab's toes because this is more to do with his topic, friendship. What's friendship? But, the uh, for the friends that you make and keep will either make you or break you. Oh, galla samjhe ne ho? 